In this video, I will be teaching you how to factor higher degree polynomial. So for example, we are just to factor this polynomial x cubed minus 4x squared plus x plus 6. So to factor this, we need to use synthetic division in order to get uh, one of the factors of this um, polynomial expression. So we're going to plot all these numbers, uh, the numerical coefficients. 1 for x cubed, negative 4 for x squared, 1 for x, and the constant 6. Then let us put a line. And then we're going to um, put now the box where we're going to put the number that can divide this, um, this polynomial expression. And doing this uh, needs a lot of patience because you have to keep on trying uh, a lot of numbers until you get a remainder of zero. But for us to save time, I will just show you the number that fits with this polynomial. It's actually positive too where if you're going to use positive to it, the remainder will become 0. So let me show it to you. So let's bring down 1, and 1 times 2 is 2. And negative 4 plus 2 is negative 2. 2 times negative 2 is negative 4. And 1 plus negative 4 is negative 3. Negative 3 times 2 is negative 6. So 6 plus negative 6 is 0. So exactly 0 when you use positive 2. And so that means the one of the factors of this uh, polynomial expression. So we're going to start from the right to the left, not, not including the remainder. So we have negative 3 as the constant. And then we have negative 2x. And then we have 1x squared. Or you can just remove the 1. Now we can write now the expression or, or the factors. So first is the one with Two, positive 2, the one we have chosen, where uh, we can actually get that by guessing, by doing keep on trial and error. So we have the x minus a, so our a is the 2, the positive 2, so it's x minus 2, times the quotient, which is x squared minus 2x minus 3. Then this will be the factor, unless it is factorable. But x squared minus 2x minus 3 is still factorable. We can factor that. Let us try x squared x and x. That's a factor of x squared. For negative 3, you can factor that by 1 and negative 3. So that when we, when we cross multiply, it's going to be 1 times x is x. x times negative 3 is negative 3x. And if you combine x and negative 3x, it will be negative 2x which is the same as the middle. So that means it, it can be factored. So the factored form now, let's just copy first x minus 2. So the factored form will be x plus 1. So the one, the pairing on top and at the bottom pairing is x and negative 3. So it will be x minus 3. So the factored form of x cubed minus 4x squared plus x plus 6 is x minus 2 times x plus 1 times x minus 3. Now let's try another one. So factor this polynomial expression with a degree 3. 12x cubed minus 11x squared plus 9x plus 18. So let us use synthetic division to find the first factor. So let us put the coefficients, numerical coefficients. So x cubed is 12, where x squared is negative 11, where x is 9, and constant is 18. And then let's put a line in the box. So now we're going to find the number that fits with this so that there's no remainder or the remainder is zero. And it really takes a lot of time because the numbers are big. But actually the number will be negative three fourths. So let us try. We, we have 12 first and then 12 times negative three fourths is negative nine. Then combine negative 11, negative nine is negative 20. Negative 20 times negative 3 fourths, positive 15. 9 plus 15, that's 24. 24 times negative 3 fourths, negative 18. So 18 plus negative 18 is 0. So there's no remainder. 
that means you have chosen the right number of course it will take a lot of time before you can have that negative three points because you're gonna try first the whole numbers the negative of those whole numbers and then the fractions so there are a lot of fractions that you must try first before you can have that then let's have now the polynomial uh, form the, the constant 24 negative 20x and 12x squared so that's one of the factors so let us write now the factored form so first is the x minus a so our a here is the negative 3 fourths so x, x minus negative 3 fourths times the quotient 12x squared minus 20x plus 24 now x minus negative 3 fourths can be written as x plus 3 fourths because x uh, minus negative is just the same as plus because my negative times negative is positive and then um, the 12x squared minus 20x plus 24 they are all divisible by 4 so we can take out the 4 from them so what's left inside is 3x squared minus 5x plus 6 and this is actually uh, acceptable to be a factored form of the given but as long as it's possible for you to remove the fraction we have a fraction three fourths. As long as it's possible to take that out, that out, so that the, our final answer doesn't have a fraction, then you have to do it. We can actually remove the fraction by multiplying the four, or distributing the four to the uh, factor x plus three fourths. Let us distribute the four, so it will be four x plus three. So four times x is four. Four times three fourths is three. Then copy the uh, the quotient 3x squared minus 5x plus 6 and that is the factored form of 12x cubed minus 11x squared plus 9x plus 18 So let's have another example. We have factored this polynomial with a fourth degree polynomial 2x to the fourth plus 4x cubed minus 3x squared plus 6x minus 9 So we're going to use synthetic division. Let us plot the numerical coefficients of these variables so x to the fourth for two x cubed is four for x squared is negative three for x is positive six and for the constant is negative nine then we're gonna put the line and the box so we're gonna put the different numbers in the box until you get the remainder of zero so it takes a lot of time to do it but for us to save time I'll just put the value directly which is actually negative three so let's put down 2 the first number and multiply 2 times negative 3 is negative 6 then 4 plus negative 6 is negative 2 and then uh, negative 3 times negative 2 is positive 6 negative 3 plus 6 is positive 3 3 times negative 3 is negative 9 6 plus negative 9 is negative 3 negative 3 times negative 3 is positive 9 and negative 9 times a plus positive 9 is 0 so there's no remainder then we're going to change this into polynomial uh, expression starting from the right going to the left so we start with a constant negative 3 then the second term is positive 3x then the second term a uh, third term will be the negative 2x squared and the last uh, the fourth term for the x cube is 2x cubed so this is now your uh, one of your factors for your given polynomial expression and now let's write this in factored form so we have the x minus a first where our a is negative 3 so x minus negative 3 times the quotient 2x cubed minus 2x squared is 3x minus 3 and then minus negative means plus it's negative times negative is positive so it's you can write x minus negative 3 as x plus 3 then let us copy this so it looks like we're done but we're not because 2x cubed minus 2x squared plus 3x minus 3 can be factored so it's not easy to find you can actually use synthetic division to do this but it takes a very long uh, procedure because you need to do trial and error but you can actually use uh, factoring by grouping. We can group the 2x cubed and the 2x squared because they both have a common factor. They are both divisible by 2x squared. 
Also, 3x and 3, we can pair that. They are both divisible by 3. So let's do that. Maybe it works. So let's take out the 2x squared. So what's left inside is x minus 1. And also we'll take out the 3 for the 3x three minus 3. So what's left is x minus 1. That's the, re that's the reason why we do uh, factoring by grouping. Because we know that after factoring, we will have to the same factors, the x minus 1. So now let us continue. Let's put the x plus 3, just copy it. And we have an x minus 1 in both terms. So we can take out the x minus 1. So take out x minus 1. What's left is 2x squared plus 3. And this is the factored form of the given polynomial function. 2x to the 4th plus 4x cubed minus 3x squared plus 6x minus 9. And that is how you factor higher degree polynomials. Thanks for watching and I hope you have learned from this video. Please support my channel by pressing the subscribe button and also write the math topics you want to learn in the comment section.